What's up everybody? Welcome back to another DP Tubs video. Today we're going to be working on reglazing a kitchen sink, an undermount kitchen sink, and I'm going to be showing you the DIY way of doing it, meaning I'm going to be showing you DIY products, not the professional grade material that only reglazers have access to. This is stuff that you could pick up at your local paint stores or hardware store. So first off, we're going to go ahead and start scraping off all of the just kind of surface material, um, meaning there's drywall texture on this sink, there's paint, just a bunch of crud um, that the contractors just kind of let fly into the sink because they knew it was going to be reglazed. So I'm going to go ahead and take a single edge blade and just kind of start scraping it off before I start to soil and scrub. I'm just going to go ahead and take my shop back and just kind of suck up all of the dry um, dust and just material from scraped from the sink. Um, I use a stinger. You guys, this is a very inexpensive uh, shop back that you can get at Home Depot. It's probably like 30 bucks, uh, but it works great. All right, now I'm wiping down the surface, but you could see it is a lot cleaner than it was before. That's because I took some just regular all-purpose cleaner and some wet dry sandpaper and even a, a Scotch-Brite pad and scrubbed down the sink. Now I'm just kind of wiping it up with, with some paper towel. So once I get it all kind of wiped up, I'm gonna go ahead and take some 220 grit sandpaper on my orbital. And you can see I'm just gonna kind of run it over everywhere just to kind of make sure everything's off, kind of scuff up the surface a little bit. And uh, as you can see right there, those holes for the faucets are not covered. That's because inside the sink, they're still gonna paint. They still got work to do around here. So I'm not as cautious in this vacant unit. So, uh, but normally I would actually fill those in either from the underside with tape or I would put paper towel in there. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this down, just getting it nice and clean before I put on my liquid bonding agent. All right, so I've got the sink all masked off with paper and I've actually put down an adhesion promoter or a bonding agent, which is called Bulldog. So I've got that applied and now I'm gonna get ready to spray on the primer. Also before the primer, always make sure you tack cloth the area. So here I am using the Benz Zinzer 123 primer. I use this contractor, it's called the Turbo Spray uh, because it's got the wide nozzle and it sprays on like it would out of your gun.
All right, so once the primer's on, you're gonna wanna let it sit for at least an hour, depending on the weather, the moisture in the room. With this particular sink, it was a vacant unit, so I just did it, and then I came back the next day. So, to let it dry, so that way I could go ahead and sand it down. Now remember, in this video, I'm using all products you can get at local hardware stores, auto shops. I'm gonna put all of the information in the description box below, so make sure to go check that out if you have any questions on the material used. So here's the sink primered and dried the next day. Now I'm going to come in and take 800 grit wet dry sandpaper and just lightly go over the area so that way I can remove any dust bumps, anything like that, and then I'm going to tack cloth as well. All right, so now it's tack cloth and I'm getting ready to spray. I'm gonna be using the Krylon Tub and Tile. You can get this at Sherwin-Williams. This is probably one of the best over-the-counter reglazing products that you can get your hands on that comes in a spray can. And uh, I've already applied one coat, as you can see here. Now I'm just kind of touching up some areas to make it a little more uniform. And then I'll give it a full second coat. So I do give three full coats plus some touch-up sprays in certain spots. But this is the best over-the-counter product that you could find. You can see how it comes out nice and uniform. Also, keep in mind, this takes 48 hours to cure, but I would give about a good three to five days if it's your home, just to let it cure a little bit more. Don't use hot water immediately after the 48 hours. I have seen it yellow because it's an epoxy, so give it as much cure time as possible. 